Hey guys, what's going on? This is Micah Kohler. I'm your course director for Introduction to Editing and Visual Effects. Today we're going to be dealing with converting our audio to make it Final Cut Pro friendly. Okay, it's going to be a simple audio conversion. We're actually going to do it in iTunes. So let's unlaunch iTunes right now. Okay, you can launch iTunes in your dock, or you can of course go into your little finder up here and just search for iTunes. Okay, you probably have it in your application folder. Eh, we just want to launch that little guy right here. Okay, so first things first, we need to see what format we're dealing with initially. And what you might notice with the iTunes interface is that we have separate columns. That's what these guys are right here, where it says name, kind, date added, time, artist. All these fall under the category of columns. So the number one column that you need for this conversion is kind, K-I-N-D. Okay, if you don't have the kind column up, you can actually control click on one of the other columns that you do have. And here you can actually scroll down and see all of the different columns that we could possibly pop up. Album, album artist, release date, ringtone, sample rate, year, etc. So you want to make sure that you have kind checked. When you have a, a column checked, that means it's actually going to appear in your interface. So make sure the kind, K-I-N-D, is checked. And it looks like we are going to be doing okay. Okay, and when you pop up kind, you might notice what type of audio you're dealing with. At the moment, I have MPEG audio files, which would be MP3s. I'll tell you what, Final Cut Pro actually severely dislikes MP3s. What it does like is AIFF files, which is an Apple-friendly format. So what we really need to do in this scenario is convert all of the audio that we might want to use uh, for Final Cut into an AIFF format. And also, new audio coming into the system should be AIFF-friendly as well. So to do this, let's actually go into our iTunes preferences. So you just click on the pull-down menu for iTunes and preferences. Okie dokie. Now in this general setting, you can actually go to where it says, when you insert a CD, ask to import the CD. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. And let's actually click on where it says, import settings. Okay, so here we are in the general setting. We're going to click on import settings. Okay, in import settings, you can see at the moment, by default, I have what we call an MP3 encoder, which means if I have new CDs coming in, and I bring them into my iTunes library, they're going to be now MP3 encoded. But like I said, for Final Cut Pro, we want what's called AIFF encoding. So let's click on this pull down menu right here just by clicking on the little blue square. And we're going to now click on AIFF encoder. So that means that if I were to bring in a new CDs into my system and new tracks, they're going to be AIFF encoded. So we'll hit OK, and that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so that's pretty good. If we actually pop in a new CD and we actually import it into iTunes, it'll be AIFF. But what about the other songs that we have? What about songs that were initially in our library that we now need to convert? Okay, well for this scenario, I have a song from a, a friend of mine's group called The Pigeon Detectives. Let's take a quick little listen to it right now. It's called Caught in Your Trap. Let's hear a listen for a second. Okay, that's a nice little preview of the Pigeon Detectives caught in your trap. And the problem with this at the moment, guys, is that it's an MPEG audio file. The cool thing about this is that you, if you have a file uh, that you need to convert, something that's already in your library, we can actually just control click on that initial track in your library, like so, control click or right click. And now in this new pull down menu, we actually have a little option here that says create an AIFF version because it knows when I am importing in new songs I might want to make them AIFF friendly and for the old ones as well we might want to create an AIFF version so just simply control click on that initial track and click on create AIFF version give it a second to actually convert it you'll see it right here converting it and now in my library I have my AIFF version of caught in your trap it sounds exactly the same except it is AIFF encoding and we can rock and roll all night long. Do do. Not just okay. Okay, you guys don't want to hear me sing. I know probably nobody does, but that's all right. So another easy step, by the way, to actually uh, have this as a usable audio format or audio file for uh, FCP. The easiest way I like to get this guy out of my uh, iTunes interface is actually to click on the new file, which I know is AIFF because it actually says it under my kind column. I'm going to click on this guy and I'm actually going to drag it and drop it onto my desktop. You guys can see there's actually a nice little green plus right here that's saying, hey, I can actually take this out and add this. 
So I'm going to take it and drop it right onto my desktop. Give it a second. And now I have a simple AIFF version of my song right here that I can now import into Final Cut Pro. And to show you guys that right here, I'm going to launch my FCP program. Okay, here we are. We just have a nice blank interface. And I'm going to click on File, Import File, which is exactly what we're doing. We're going to import that AIFF file in here. So it's File, Import File, or the hotkey is Apple I. Okay, and I know it's caught in your trap, AIF. AIFF actually technically. I'm going to choose that little guy right there. And there it is. It's right in my browser. And I can simply double click on it. And now I can do my little mark in, mark out using I and O to uh, actually just mark a specific selection of the, of the track before I bring the whole track into my interface. So let's say I actually just only want to bring in the first couple seconds. I'll just mark my endpoint, mark my out point. End point is I, out point is O. And this simply insert it onto my timeline and check it out. Now we have an Apple friendly format of my audio file that I can use in uh, Final Cut Pro. The nice thing is, by the way guys, with the Apple friendly format of AIFF, I don't actually need to render it every time that I change that audio file in the timeline. So it's actually going to work out pretty well for you guys. Let's take a listen. Okay, the only problem that I actually see right here is that we're actually peaking a little bit. So I actually probably would want to toggle my clip overlays to my audio track and just drop down the audio slightly. Yeah, just one thing to keep in mind that when we bring in a track initially, specifically for audio, we might need to actually bring it down a couple decibels. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was your first little bit about prepping our audio for FCP, uh, particularly for sound effects and music. We want to make sure, remember, guys, that we're in AIFF format. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial for today. I'll be back with a few more on compression and uh, doing things in the motion tab as well. We're going to have a good time together, so I hope you enjoyed our first little bit of screen flow. So this is Mike Kohler signing off. Bye-bye.